All right, so let's trace the acid flow. The function contains two for loops. Interestingly, we recognize that the first for loop is an unbounded loop on non-masters. Non so basically, non-masters is unbounded. And the values array is fixed in size to be a 16 by 15 array. However, get open fixed array actually reads up to 15 point data points from the input file. Keep in mind then now, now that if non-masters is not bounded, then non-masters can clearly go beyond 16, which would be a clear stack buffer overrun. What makes this vulnerability particularly interesting is the nature of the writes. So essentially, because the because the because get open fixed array can read from zero to fifteen data points, the attacker can choose to write or not or not write at different entries when writing data into the values array. So, for example, for the first element, the attacker can choose to not write any data. So, writes no entries at non master. Right now, non master is zero. The attacker continues, writes zero entries, assuming now that we are at the end of 14. So we are pretty much getting close to the end of this array. Now, non-master is 15. Non-master is 16. And now that the, the variable is done, because the, the, the array is, we're now at the one past the last element of the array right? Because the array is indexed from 0 to 15. So at num 16, we have one past it. And because the attacker can choose to not write any data into this array, at this point, the original data on the stack can remain. So it wouldn't get overridden. So the nature of the vulnerability essentially allows the attacker to skip regions of memory and write to other regions of memory. This level of granularity and control is critical to how reliable an, an exploit for this vulnerability can be. Eventually, the, the attacker can escape the stack frame for this function and proceed to another stack frame. Non-master is now 22, and now the attacker can corrupt the subsequent stack frame. We can see that illustrated in proof of concept, no data points written for the first 22 elements. And then one data point written with five elements. What was the fix? The code was deprivileged in Windows 10 and above, so it runs in user space instead of kernel. According to the patch, according to patch de diffing and de decompilation, there was an additional check to limit the maximum value of non-masters. For additional reading, check the reference slides.